talking to Ken Morrison here today at the biochar facility at the Florida Living Web Farm. Ken, tell us about this facility that you helped construct here and what it's for. Well, this is the Living Web Farms Florida Biochar Production Plant. We have a working plant up in the North Carolina Living Web Farms, and this, taking the lessons learned from North Carolina, is an even better production plant. What you see here is the front of the production plant. It has three retorts and two gasifiers. The gasifiers provide heat, which initialize the pyrolysis process in the retorts. The retorts are filled with biomass. Uh, standardly, a wood biomass is loaded into the retort. The heat will cause the pyrolysis process to begin. And basically what it does is it heats the wood without oxygen, creating biochar. There's a lot of heat involved in making biochar. And behind the gasifier, you see what is called a heat exchanger, which is connected to a flue, which then extends past the, the roof level to a chimney on the outside. The heat exchanger will be utilized to provide energy for other processes such as warming greenhouses, using it to supply energy for a kiln for the biomass, uh, drying fruits, drying meats, other such environmentally conscious processes for energy use. Now, uh, there is a, a unit behind the retort that is called a condenser. The pyrolysis process creates wood gas. There are volatile compounds inside the wood gas. When it gets to the condenser, the condenser liberates those volatile compounds. The condenser then sends the wood gas back. It goes into the combustion chamber at the base of the gasifier where the combustion occurs. Heat is produced and that too is sent to the retort to enhance the pyrolysis process. The volatile compounds are moisture, sap, oil, and wood vinegar. Uh, those are the main volatile compounds. Those will be separ separated, segregated, and stored in what are called totes, large 250-gallon plastic drums. The volatile compounds will be filtered and used for other uses outside the biochar plant. Now, this is a work in progress. We do not have the plant up and operational yet. We plan on doing so within a matter of weeks to begin producing biochar. Now, there is a second machine that is involved in the Florida biochar plant, and that is on the other side of the tool rack. You can see the top of it from here. That is called the continuous feed machine. That also produces biochar. However, it uses a slightly different process than the retort machine that you see here. They do not have a continuous feed machine in North Carolina, so this will be our initial try at the continuous feed machine, but we do expect it to be fully a success. The biomass is placed into machine number one. It is then initially warmed through the machine as an auger pushes it through the machine. It then drops into and is fed by an auger through machine number two, which completes the pyrolysis process and emitted from the far end of machine number two is biochar. The difference between this machine and the retort machine is such that a smaller biomass has to be used, small wood chips, almost to the point where you would consider it perhaps sawdust consistency, which creates at the far end a biochar, which is a much finer uh, base element than biochar that would come from the retort, which would be more like chunks of mass charcoal. Uh, the finished product of the biochar can be used for what is made as liquid biochar. It is more or less a biochar dust that can be suspended into liquid and through the irrigation system that is utilized to water the living web farm here in Florida can be broadcast in such a manner. This is the output of the continuous feed machine. Right now it's set up to output directly into a 55 gallon drum 
we are thinking of modifying this so that it'll perhaps drop directly into a vessel that will be containing water and there can be wheeled to wherever we're going to turn it into a composting mixture or mix it with uh, compost tea or it can be used directly from the 55 gallon drum if we seal the drum immediately it'll prevent any volatile actions of the biochar which will still be dry when it comes out of the continuous feed machine. This is the initial heat source for the continuous feed machine. Uh, the heat generated here is sent through machine two, then is piped to machine one, then goes out the flue in the chimney. The energy again is captured for use in environmentally sound fashions outside of the biochar production plant. Here on the back side of the retort machine, you can see here is the condenser I spoke of previously that removes the volatile compounds from the wood gas that is produced by the pyrolysis process. And you get a better look at the plumbing that connects the retorts and the gasifiers uh, to allow the wood gas to go to the condenser. And then here is a better look at your heat exchanger. And again, there is a flue that leads above the roof level to the chimneys. We consider profitability in being able to amend the soil here on the Living Web Farm to grow fruits and vegetables and to feed the cattle by having good grazing lands. That's the profitability we're keying on.